It's almost three o'clock and I'm just about to start blocking a picture in. And I just want to show you how unimportant it is to get the colors perfect. Um, but obviously I've sketched it out and I'm going to try and get everything in roughly the right place. The colors, you know, I can carry on working on those in oil once this coat of acrylic is dry. So this is the only acrylic paint I'm going to use. And the reason I'm using acrylic is because I want it to dry as quickly as possible so that I can then start working in oil. So once it's been blocked in, I'll give it maybe at the most five minutes and then I'll start working in oil. So let's get started on the sky. I've put the uh, reference photo up just, to, just so you can see what I'm looking at and also the palette. So trick is to get it blocked in fairly quickly. So I haven't always blocked in in acrylic. It's only been in the last two, maybe three years I've done that. And the reason being is at the moment, there's a lot of demand for smaller paintings. And uh, really, <clears throat> it's just about time. It's, it's me trying to get a picture finished fairly quickly. Before, I used to do a lot of much bigger pictures. Um, and I didn't used to paint on the, can on the panel as well. I used to paint more on canvas. I still do paint on canvas sometimes, but not quite as much, but because the demand is there for these smaller ones, I'm uh, trying to get a certain amount done in a week, and it just helps to be able to block it in and then start working on it in the same day. Because with oil, I wouldn't be able to do that. I'd have to leave a day for it to dry before I continued working on it. If you're using just regular oil paints, then you'd, well, if you're blocking in in regular oil paints, you'd probably need to leave two or three days for it to dry properly before you continued working on it. But um, you don't need to obviously use acrylics. As I say, I do it just so that I can start working on it straight away, but you don't need to. I mean, I would actually prefer to block in in oil just because I prefer using oil. I find it's easier to use than acrylic, probably because I'm used to it. But acrylic serves its purpose. Okay, so now the sky is finished, and actually, all I used with the sky was um, cobalt blue, titanium white, and a, just a dash there of that ivory black. They're the only colours I actually use in the whole sky. So now I'm going to get working on the trees here, and it's just going to be a basic. A basic sort of middle tone. So if I was to look at the subject matter and uh, you know sort of squint your eyes so it goes blurry, that's the kind of colour and detail you're looking at. No more than that really. So let's mix, try and mix up something similar. That's a lot warmer than that. I'm holding the brush up to the to the uh, photograph, the reference here, just to get it roughly right.
in the whole this whole blocking in process, the only colours I've used are permanent green deep, cadmium yellow medium, burnt umber, ivory black, alizarin in crimson, cobalt blue, and titanium white. So, yeah, you can get roughly the right colours with that. I mean, it's that isn't a million miles out from the photograph. Um, so, but that's good enough. That's all you need. Obviously, when I come to do the oil, I'll use a much more variety of colour. But that's all you need to block it in, and that's taken all of twenty minutes. Right. So that is pretty much blocked in. I could probably go over with some of the darker areas in acrylic, um, but there's not really much point. I might as well just work in oil now. So I've literally just finished, and it's now. I mean, okay, that paint there is still a, a little bit tacky but in two or three minutes that'll be perfectly dry and ready to paint on in oil so I'm not going to wait at all I'm going to get working on it now straight away in oil so I shall video that and show you that tomorrow